Well, this story has garnered national attention. The mother of 25-year-old Jelani Day is speaking out after laying her son to rest this weekend. Questions are swirling regarding the condition of Day's body. The family's attorney is here to talk more about this case. Haley Besner joins us. And thank you for taking the time, Hallie, to be with us. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about a statement that Jelani's mom put out, saying in part that no organs were missing, that there were contradicting facts from the first preliminary autopsy, and said that this is not a case of organ harvesting. Can you clarify what we know from the independent autopsy? Um, that's correct. Uh, we do not believe that this is any sort of um, organ harvesting or traffic trafficking situation. Um, my understanding is that essentially the body was just in very bad condition after having been in warm water in the Illinois River for probably 11 days. Um, so there were um, things like eyes were missing, but that is consistent with what you would expect with a body that's found in a, in a warm body of water for that period of time. Attorney Besner, not sure if you can answer this just yet, but has there been a determination on the cause of death? And is the FBI helping out with this investigation? No cause of death as of yet from either the first or second uh, autopsy. Still waiting on cause and manner, um, hoping that we'll get some answers soon. But uh, we realized that because the body had so much decomposition to it, um, that may not be something that we're able to determine from the autopsy. Um, the uh, FBI is involved. They have a behavioral analysis unit. I spoke to um, some of the officers on the case earlier today. I understand that they have a conference call set up with the FBI on Wednesday. Uh, my understanding is that the FBI has been reviewing reports that have already been done, reviewing uh, interviews, uh, evidence that's already been collected, and sort of offering their opinion on what the police need to do next in terms of who they need to speak to, questions that need to be asked so that we can get some answers to some of the questions we've been asking. You know, one of the big questions here, you mentioned that the manner and cause of death is not known at this point. Jelani's mom, of course, says her son was murdered. Is there evidence pointing to murder right now? I believe so, yes. Um, I, there's no plausible explanation for Jelani's body ending up in the river other than foul play. Um, Jelani's car was found 60 miles north of Bloomington where he went to school in a town that he had never been to before. The area where the car was found is very uh, suspicious for a car to be there. It's not a place that Jelani would have known about. It's a place that someone local may have known about, but it's not somewhere that you would drive and drop your car off on the side of the highway. Um, the car had no license plates on it. We still don't know where the license plates are. We don't know where the car keys are. We don't know where a cell phone is. Um, his body presumably went into the river about three miles from where the car was found. And uh, that last week of August was really hot in central Illinois. It was about 104 degree heat index. There's no way he drove 60 miles, hit his car in the woods, got rid of his license plate somewhere, and then walked three miles to put himself in the river. I mean, and he was on the swim team in high school. It's not like he would have accidentally drowned. Uh, it just, there, to me, there's no plausible explanation besides foul play. Sounds like a lot of questions, and that family definitely deserves to get those answers. Attorney Besner, thank you so much for joining us on First at Four. Thank you.